All right, finally got it set up yesterday, installed the gimbal, everything's ready to go. The only thing that's pending today is actually to, I did it quick yesterday, so it wasn't too perfect, but was to set the actual compass. Now, the trick to set the compass is to rotate it, um, hold on, let me bring it up really quick. Rotate it a couple of times in different directions so the compass could be set. So the fastest way to set the compass is to actually bring down both controls here Hold it for a couple of seconds so the left green light starts blinking rapidly. When it does that, it's ready to start um, setting up the compass. Set up. Okay, again, both down, starts blinking. First step is the front flip. We bring it down. Second step is rolling which way? Rolling this way, completely around. And then the last step is lifting it and rolling this way so it understands north south east west everything and we bring it down and we leave it alone and then when it's set the light will blink will stop blinking all right cool i guess we did it right this time all right motors are locked um, the easiest way to unlock the motor is actually holding the throttle here for a couple of seconds this light will turn solid and you know it's good to fly the blinking on the right hand side actually tells you how many satellites it's actually picking up right now it's actually blinking four times four times means there's eight satellites so you kind of want the more blinks the better the more you're going to be able to lock something into place so all right let's go ahead and give it an initial wind up and let's start taking off here we go everything is centered up let me look at my gimbal in the front Awesome, that's working good. I turn it, points up. And if I turn it, it points down. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and take off a little bit. I'll land it right over there and then I'll come back for my box. All right, motors are ready to go. Let's see what she does. Oh, almost forgot to turn on the camera. Let me actually lock it back up for a second. Almost forgot to turn on my camera. That would have sucked. All right, camera's recording. Let me verify that. Camera should be recording and the gimbal should be on. It should be able to Move it all over the place like this and it should stay looking at me the whole time awesome all right here we go again I'm just simply flying it nice and soft. I don't want to hit any trees. All right. Now what I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get it to the open field here. All right, right here, in the center of these trees, let me accelerate a little bit, I'm gonna do the uh, altitude hold. Right there, it should try to maintain its altitude and position. Right here, I'm not touching the control at all. And it's pretty much trying to keep itself right there. So it'll shift a little bit based on the wind, but uh, I think it'll try to, actually it's keeping itself really good for it being such a breezy day. That's actually excellent. <laughs> That's actually really good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my box. I'm going to leave it there. I'm walking away. I'm not touching my control. I'm just going to keep it. Oh, let me put my timer on. Whoops. I hate when I forget timers. 
So it's actually keeping itself on altitude hold there, which is a really awesome tool. So I can walk away and not worry about landing it. I can keep it filming something. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my box under the shade. Still walking away, not doing anything. Slowly taking itself down. So let me put my little box here, right under the shade. All right. See, I see it slowly descending, <laughs> even though the altitude lock is uh, is on. So at least it's not going up. All right. Now I'm gonna go behind it, unlock it, and I'm gonna push it forward. I'm back on manual, and I'm gonna fly this way. All right, now we're back on manual mode. And I'm just gonna do some vibration tests here. It's gonna slowly fly it around. So far, so good. Doing pretty good. It's a pretty heavy quad. It's actually handling very, handling very well, even though it's pretty heavy. Right, let me go shoot it across a little bit. All right, I'm gonna turn it around and face it to me. Slowly bring it back. Now what I'm gonna do here is at this height, I'm gonna drop it into attitude hold. Boom, right there, it should lock into place and not go anywhere. I'm not holding the control. I'm not doing anything. It's pretty much just staying right there on its own. So at this point here, I should be able to make the camera turn a little higher, look up, and I should be able to tilt the camera down and look back down to me. <laughs> awesome! All right, and there's my box back there in the shade. Everything's good, and it's on hold. Man, that hold is freaking awesome. All right, so let's take it off hold, and now it'll shift based on the direction that I had it pointed. Perfect. Turn it around. Fly this way a little bit. And again, this is not the original battery. This is actually uh, only a 2300 milliamp battery, so I got to be careful and make sure that uh, I don't fly it for too long until I get the actual battery in place. All right, now I'm gonna hold it pretty high right there. Uh oh, I see something kicking a little bit. Should be fine. Huh. I wonder if it's the wind or, you know. Let me lock it here for a second. All right, right there is on lock. Right there, I'm not touching the control. Right here, if I actually go ahead and uh, grab one of the legs and pull it, it should fight me. And if I let it go, it should pop right back into place where it was. And yeah, it wasn't too, <laughs> I didn't like when it touched it. But that's kind of cool. But I think I noticed about the after two hold is that it slowly drops a little bit, a little bit at a time. And I noticed one of my antenna cables a little loose down here. That should be okay. All right, now I'm gonna take it off after two hold, and I'm gonna go manual again. It should, as soon as I take this off, it should fly forward by itself a little bit. And there it is, actually backwards. It's going by the wind. All right, let's give it one more pass. I can test the camera feasibility. Perfect. Let's actually go a little higher. It's got a little brave today. I know this is the initial test. But I want to hold that right there, and I'm going to lock it. All right, that's a two lock right there. So if I'm taking pictures, or I'm doing any kind of video shoot, and I got the position that I want right there, the camera's filming it perfectly, which is exactly what I want. So it's holding very well, even though it's a little breezy. So, all right. Now, let's go back normal, and this time I'm going to try something else. I'm going to go ahead 
I'm gonna land them right here because I took off from back there so I don't want to try to return to home where I was it's a big problem so I'm gonna go ahead and land it down right here very carefully nice fresh grass okay go ahead and tilt the camera Ooh. Yeah, there's too much grass here for the floor. All right, let me go ahead and uh, lock the blades, actually. All right, blades are locked right here. Um, let me find a flat surface that I can try the return to home from. Ah, the grass is too thick out here. Oh, let me try to take off over here. So I don't remember if the return to home actually tries to bring it back where you turned it on or where you unlock the motors so i'm actually going to go ahead and unlock the motors here and see if that's the position that it remembers it probably is not i should actually just try to turn off the whole thing turn it back on and see what it does um now let's see all right i'm going to put it here in the concrete Just a little more to the middle right there all right, I'm gonna go ahead now. And I'm gonna unplug the power. Come on. The hell's a power plug? There it is. All right, I'm gonna turn off the control. I'm gonna unplug the power. I'll turn the control back on. And I'm going to replug it in. And there it should pick up the satellites. Okay, there, picked up the satellites. So this should be the new home. So now I'm going to take off. I'm going to go right around the middle over there. And I'm going to tell it to return to home and see what it does. Okay, there it is. Power's back on. Let's check my gimbal. Pointing it back down. And let's take off. Alright, I'm going to take off over here. All right, I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna put it, let me go back a little bit. Come on, back up, baby. All right, I'm gonna lock the altitude right there. I'm get, oh, not too happy. All right, now I'm gonna tell it, return to home. There we go. So it should go a little higher. It should see I'm not touching the control at this moment here but I'm, I am gonna flick it back if I see it's not accurate <laughs> it's going up I should going pretty fast so I gotta keep my finger handy all right I'm not again I'm not touching the control it found its position and it's gonna attempt to land itself right here so right it's pretty close from where I took off it's gonna get close to the ground but it's not gonna hit it yet it's going to think about it, verify that that's where it took off from, and it lands. Oh, all by itself. <laughs> Complete GPS landing. Completely automated. Oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, lock it. Hi. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi. Hi. The, the annoying. Uh... Most dangerous helicopter in the air right now. That, that... Flame, you playing Bumblebee this morning? Not gonna make it. Oh, rah, look at that! Woo! It's upside down, world. Oh. Oh. Okay, that thing is getting gone. Quick here. Wired up a switch. Out of the bag. Three thousand minutes. Uh, IMAX B6 AC. Battery fits. It's finally here. Camera Devo 10 remote. All right, as you can see. 
262 quadcopter, the Rad Jet 800. And here, it's gonna move its sway like this, right out of the box. That's cool. You see, I'm not even touching the control. It's like I'm at 25, maybe 20 there. 